So I tried to make this video one time before. My camera cut out midway through me reading this article, but it's from the BBC, um, and then it's originally from um, Sharon George and Deirdre McKay at uh, theconversation.com uh, slash US, for those of you who are in the US like I am. Um, and they're basically, they're, this whole article is kind of a thing about a list of statistics that basically say that everything we do as a society pollutes the environment. And in order to avoid polluting, what you want to do is not stream music. Because every time you stream music, a request has to be sent to the server, which says, we, you know, I'm going to play this song now, send it back to me. And that takes energy just to keep that server running, and energy is, you know, polluting because most of the generation of power comes from, you know, coal and other non-renewable resources. Um, so they say, don't stream music. Keep it offline. And then, you know, for, especially for songs that you play over and over again, keep, the, keep those offline. And they say, let's see, what else do they say? They say, you know, CDs have environmental drawbacks just like uh, records do. But, uh, you know, vinyl records are making a big comeback. Apparently a really huge comeback. Like they, you know, their sales went up over a thousand percent uh in the past 12 years so that's that's a big deal that's pretty significant that's a big impact you know so the best way to listen to me and i you know i'm guilty because i listen to music all the time and sometimes i just stream it because i'm you know i'm lazy but um if i keep if i kept it all offline if i kept it all on my phone um and that would be greener than uh, streaming it every single time I wanted to listen to it. Uh, and obviously storage space is limited on some people's devices. I only have 32 gigabytes on the one I'm recording in the sun, um, and other people only have 64 on their phone. I recommend if you can use it, use a micro SD card. Like, I know that iPhones don't support that, and all I really have to say to that is, I, I'm sorry, you know, I wish that there was an alternative option other than forking over over a thousand dollars for a new phone from Apple just to get the storage that you should be able to add later yourself and shop around for storage that's cheap but still quality. And if you're on Android, well, you know, there you go, right? Most devices nowadays, at least at the top of the line, don't really have storage options uh, for micro SD. I guess some of the Chinese manufacturers like uh, OnePlus and Huawei and uh, Xiaomi and all those guys, some of them let you use a secondary SIM slot as an SD card reader. Um, so, Anyways, store your music offline. That's the gist of this article, as far as I can tell. And try, you know, it helps to save data too, because if you're on a limited data plan, then you care about not going over. At least I care, because my company will automatically upgrade me to the next plan for the month if I go over my data limit. And I don't really want to pay extra money. I mean, it's nice that they don't, you know, give me a charge for overage. So, anyways. Streaming music pollutes. Especially because, you know, it's all kept on these huge servers that are, you know, very power intensive. And... That's just another reason for me to not like streaming music.